Good afternoon and happy Friday to all of your sunshiny faces. So guys, I edited one vlog today. I'm working on the second one. I don't know if I'll have enough time to finish it before we have to leave to go to the football game because um, normally I would have enough time <laughs> because the varsity game starts at 7 or 7.30, something like that. But this week they are away and the freshmen play before the... Um, the varsity so their game starts at five o'clock it is right now 4 20 and um matthew is actually coming home from school my mom had to go pick him up guys it's a whole long story whole long fiasco today um but guys it is freezing cold outside like literally freezing cold there's no sun out right now and obviously when the varsity game starts even kind of the freshman game too it is not going to be really sunny but right now it is a high of 41 so that's perfect and let's see at seven o'clock I'm assuming the game will probably be over around 9 o'clock. It's supposed to get down to 38 degrees. <laughs> so that's about a 3 degree difference. But still guys, it is cold out. It has been like, my dad said it was raining. I didn't necessarily notice that it was raining today. But yeah guys, I am bundled up. A thermal on underneath this shirt. I've got my like North Face like fleeced kind of kind of fleecy it's not actually very warm but I think it works well as like extra cover then I was gonna wear a sweatshirt over that but I think I'm going to wear my actual like north face like my puffy jacket y kind of thing not like puffy jacket but like the soft super soft north face jacket um that I have the white one over that I was gonna like I said wear a sweatshirt over this but I actually think that the north face will be warmer to wear I'm bringing gloves I have two pairs of socks on guys I'm wearing leggings under my jeans which is normally what I do when we're going to like a football game or something like that because it gets chilly there um are already the bleacher seats I believe are in the car in the trunk so my mom gets back with Matthew we can just double check that those are there because if we are not sitting on those cold bleachers that might help to keep us a little bit warmer um and then I'm also going to bring a blanket too so like I say guys it's freezing cold out it is 41 degrees and there's no sun out whatsoever it is partially raining um like I said I don't know if it's supposed to but it's been like partly cloudy my dad said it was maybe it was where he was like I said I didn't necessarily notice that but it's not so regardless guys it is cold and so um next week though it's supposed to be like 60s for the football game which this kind of weather is what I'm talking about guys this is what I have not experienced last year like at all there was I don't think ever a game where I had to be this bundled up for like one of Matthew's varsity football games because it was so freezing I cannot remember that like at all even too I don't know if there was any either of the year the two or three years before that that I can really remember granted the freshmen normally played on like Thursdays or some Sunday morning games and like for JV too though but I mean like even for the like JV sophomore games freshmen Matthew's like all of his all four years of Matthew's uh, football in school when he played we went to like every single one of the varsity games um maybe not the away games but for the most part we went to I think almost every single game so yeah I don't like I said maybe a handful of games were like this cold but there weren't a lot I remember one that was just miserable because there was like non-stop rain it was a home game and it was just really nasty out I remember my mom um Jack actually brought a friend with and he played football with Jack as well one of the games it was like they came to the game him my mom and then Jack's friend and they ended up coming and I remember like maybe about 20 minutes in it started just like downpouring they watched like a few minutes of the game and we're like let's go home because my mom didn't want to get the little kid sick um like he wasn't little at that point but I think it was Matthew's like freshman ma no maybe it's Matthew's sophomore year but still she's like I don't want to have the responsibility of a kid out here in this weather she's like I'm taking him home so it was I ended up staying it was just rainy I don't really remember it being like freezing cold so yeah guys that's what we have to deal with today but they should be home at some point soon like I said I'm gonna try and get this last vlog done if I can't before they get home and then we have to see if we have to put gas in the car I have to double check to make sure that those bleacher seats are in there too guys and hopefully my back will not hurt anymore but yeah guys today is gonna be a lovely um football game and the only reason we're going to this football game I don't know if I told you guys it is away it's not at home but it is I think one of only two 
freshman football games where the freshmen play before the varsity. Matthew hasn't got to see one freshman game, which were all kids that he coached for the last four years. So, um, like, he wants to go and see them as well, at least one game. So that's why he ended up coming home. Then we're going to NIU tomorrow to go and watch that football game because it's their homecoming, and Matthew's got a whole bunch of other festivities and things like that to go to um, and stuff to do tomorrow. So it's like a very short little time that he's here to go and see the game but that's what we're going to do guys because he wants to go and see the freshmen i want to go and see them for their last second to last game this is actually their last away game the final game that they have is next friday at home the freshman play i believe on thursday so yeah guys that's that is what's going on for today I got back from the football game i'll tell you guys about that but after that I, we ended up watching more ghost adventures i think i told you guys i ended up falling asleep in the living room because of how tired i was it took like a few hour nap and now i'm actually gonna go take a shower and head to bed um so yeah it's actually pretty late but i did like i said took a short nap um for a little while in the living room but um guys the football game so we ended up getting there to the game we actually got there somewhat at a decent time I think maybe somewhat into the first quarter it wasn't any time after the first quarter I know we didn't get there at the start but I don't remember exactly when we got there um all I know is when we actually got out of the car they made some type of like announcement or something like that about the first quarter um so I'm not like I said exactly sure when I know we got there for the freshman game to start and they are down 16 to 6 and then shortly after we got there the other team ended up scoring again the final for the freshman game was 20 to 46 i think my dad said that the beginning of the game the very first drive of the game they ended up giving up a um a uh, kickoff uh, back for a touchdown and the very last touchdown that they scored was the exact same thing so you take those two out and you've got yourself a, a football game there. We ended up scoring again right before the end of the game and made it 20 to 46. So um, the freshman game, it was actually kind of weird. Like it wasn't, I don't know how to describe it. Like they just, maybe it was the cold, honestly, guys. I mean, a handful of these kids are the same kids that we've had um like last year and stuff like that and they did not like the cold at all guys we ended up playing that one game that was in the 100 and something degree heat and they ended up winning that game we ended up playing the exact same team in like the 30 40 degree weather um on a saturday morning and it was so freezing cold out guys and they were just not having any of it it wasn't a great game um but our kids didn't really seem to like the cold <laughs> nearly as much as they liked the um the extreme heat side of it um but like i said we ended up actually one of our kids who was uh like a really great kid last year he was dealing with like i guess ankle issues for most of the season this year on and off kind of and um i think he might have actually broke his ankle which is really sad but um he uh was ended up like towards the mid or so mid to end of the game um something happened on one one play or something like that i think on offense he was out for like the end portion of the game as well um but like my dad couldn't even really necessarily say either what it was like there wasn't anything that they were like you know like they didn't have super speedy kids they didn't you know there wasn't a whole lot of stuff that they were doing that like defensive wise they couldn't stop or like offensively they could score so i don't I, like i said i couldn't really pinpoint either like what exactly was going on that like they caused them not to really win the game um they did have like i said some one of the kids actually he had a phenomenal game and his brother played really great in the the varsity game too offensively and defensively i think he played really great and so um i noticed him like they at the end of the game he, they were running i actually think he did have a touchdown too but um they were like running and passing to him and he just he played phenomenally um, whereas like last week it seemed like he didn't really have a great game and it's really weird because what I've noticed too is that like it almost seems like 
one of our kids are kind of off every single game like they're not like we don't seem to all have a cohesive unit out there every single time it's like some games one kid just goes has phenomenal game you know offensively and defensively the very following week could just not have a good game at all and then we'll have another you know a different kid that has a great week that week but the week prior you know didn't have a good week or something like that it seems like all the players aren't like playing as one cohesive unit all at the same time like i said one kid might have a great game one week and then ha not have a great game the next week but it just seemed like there was like a handful of kids that just kind of seemed off this week um, but again, some of the other kids then stepped up, so I don't, like I said, I can't really say for sure what the freshman game was about, but it was freezing cold out, guys. It was seriously freezing out. Um, at one point, Matthew's friends actually ended up coming to the, the, um, the varsity game, and Matthew was sitting next to them on one side and then like me and Jack were sitting on the other side. We actually had Jack sit like behind me and Matthew and we had like all kinds of blankets and stuff like that. At one point we act I wasn't actually that freezing cold anymore um, but like it was just pretty miserable out. Varsity game guys we got our first win which was amazing because honestly the team that we ended up playing um we played the team that we played the week prior that we got like blown out by they beat them so we were like holy cow this is gonna be a beat down like the team that we got blown out by last week played this team and they beat them like it's not gonna be a pretty game but guys, they came out and Matthew's really good friend was out there playing quarterback and they were running like maybe like some type of fat formation, which is not normally their normal like offensive uh, formation. And it looked like that's what they were running with him. And then they were like they were doing all this kind of like crazy stuff like running a whole bunch of different stuff on offense. And then they'd run, they'd bring the, the um the regular quarterback they've had play quarterback in and they had him throw but then they also had him do some a little a, a tiny bit of running but they also had him do some um what's it called um some handoffs and stuff like that and it was just it was like really nice they kept this you know the other team off balance and at halftime it was 20 to nothing guys like it was amazing and then the other team ended up scoring six points sometime in the third quarter, I think. And then, guys, their defense, too, was just dominant. They shut down. Like, honestly, their offensive line and their linebackers normally play really well. I feel like it's kind of the secondary, but the thing is, this team couldn't throw. Like, they were only running. I don't know if their quarterback couldn't throw. My dad said that they actually... Um, their start, starting quarterback got hurt in the first quarter and they had to put in a backup. And I don't know if that one could throw or if they just weren't throwing. It was kind of windy out, honestly, guys. Um, pretty windy, actually. I know because that was what made it really cold. Like, I feel like it wouldn't be... The game wasn't half as bad if it wasn't as windy as it was and it was really windy. <laughs> and so that made it way worse. But I don't know for whatever reason they weren't throwing. So they had just a run game and everything it seemed like we were stopping. And so like I said, their line played phenomenally. Their linebackers were amazing. Their corners played well too. And not like all their secondary, but I feel like when a team has a, a passing game and a running game, then that's kind of when we start to fall apart. For whatever reason, this team wasn't passing like at all tonight. And even when they were trying to, because there was a few times, they didn't play it bad. Like they still played well. It was just, it was a really good game, honestly, guys. The final was 20 to 6. So, um, yeah, it, it was, like I said, a really great game. And I was like so surprised that they ended up beating this team because. I think they just came out there with like, you know, weird looks in their offense. Their defense was just tearing it up, guys. I have to say like 75% of the um, the tackles were made like at the line of scrimmage or in the backfield because the line was just getting through. Like it was amazing. This team actually could have won two games. The one game they went into overtime and this one, like it's amazing. Honestly too, 
I was not thinking they were going to, like I said, because of knowing that they had actually beat another team that we got beat by and that the freshmen ended up losing. I was like, oh no, this isn't going to be a great game. But they came out and it was actually 0-0 for like maybe up until like the first quarter. Like we just would move the ball, but then we didn't necessarily get in the end zone. And then like our defense was stopping them. And like they ran out the clock, I think in the first quarter, honestly. And I think they scored all of their their points, maybe either one touchdown at the very end of the first quarter, or else all three of them, I think were maybe in the second quarter. Maybe one was in the third, but I don't think anybody scored in the fourth quarter. Um, we did try and go for a field goal. The kid who was the brother of the one I said had a phenomenal game, he is the kicker. He just barely missed it. He it hit off the, the goal post at the bottom and almost made it over. But as I think I was telling you guys maybe a few weeks ago when we watched the freshman game, we're there for the, like the end of their practice and he had it like he lined it up it wasn't like it went like just it was really great it was just a tad bit too short um but yeah it was like I say guys it was just a really great game and I'm so happy they got at least one win this season like that is so so amazing because like my dad was saying too I think they have honestly like eight seniors one of the really great linemen I think or linebacker maybe he is um I think is a sophomore the one brother who's the kicker he's a sophomore and his cousin's also a sophomore um are one of the running backs who was actually injured, which is why I think they put the new offense in, or, you know, kind of a hybrid offense of a different stuff. Um, and, you know, they had to change it up because they weren't just running with him. He was injured this week. Um, he got injured at last week's game, but he is a sophomore. Like, they're super young. I actually think their quarterback is a sophomore as well. They just have a lot of, like, really young majority sophomores on their team that are playing up at varsity. So they're a very young team. So so, like I said, with the talent that they do have, they'll be there for years to come. It's just a matter of this season it hasn't been the best for them. And um, they, like I said, at least got one win this year, which is amazing. Because I honestly thought that that overtime game was going to be the only one that they possibly could have had. But they still have one game left, and they have at least got one. So that's awesome. I will see you guys, though, all in tomorrow's vlog. If you guys did enjoy today's, so make sure you guys give it a big old thumbs up. If you guys are new, we'd love if you subscribe. And I'll see you all in recent shiny faces tomorrow. So bye, guys.